Nithyanandam everyone, welcome back to the Kundalini Yogini. This is Prasida. Thank you so much for joining me again here on YouTube. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys about how to open the third eye, both safely and effectively. There is so much information on this topic on YouTube. Third eye, the Anya Chakra, is probably one of the most popular topics in the spiritual community here on YouTube. But I really want to give you guys authentic, traditional information on how you can safely and effectively open and awaken your third eye and use it in your day-to-day -day life so that there is zero negative side effects and you can experience the full powerfulness of what it really is to live with an awakened third eye an awakened divine sight or intuition that conscious command center that we have inside of all of us and i just want to preface by saying that we all deserve to know what is really inside of us the power that we all genuinely have naturally given to us as human beings the human body is such an amazing complex incredibly detailed system of consciousness this body these bodies that we've been given are one of the biggest blessings for consciousness to break through this is why earth and the human body is considered cosmically the only place a soul can transition from unawakened consciousness to enlightenment. The human body has so much potential. We're like inner potential energy waiting to explode. And so the third eye is something that all human beings have. My guru always jokes and says, if you have a head, you have a third eye. And we deserve to know what it is to live life with an awakened third eye. All of the powers and the empowerment that comes with living with a completely clear and open channel of intuition to understanding life, the world around us, our own body, other people's consciousness and evolve and change our relationships with the world through it. It brings so much empowerment and so much healing. And this has been intentionally suppressed, intentionally put away from us and directed out of our consciousness so that we are living like such average, you know, lifestyles and so many people are suffering because of it because there's so much more inside of you waiting to break free and when you have the empowerment of getting access to what's inside you what's your birthright you live life completely liberated and free and so i just want to share that with you guys today and i hope that all of you genuinely take that to heart and know that you deserve to live empowered don't have fear the fear is put there exactly that to scare you away from being awakened and empowered in your own self and imagine right if all people could have divine sight access to their divine sight being able to understand things as they are and see truth for what it is we can't we couldn't be lied to we couldn't be manipulated by all of the systems that aim to do that and while of course I personally don't ever like to focus on the negativity on my channel or in my personal life it's important to know right and to not be ignorant and not get taken advantage of and so I want to empower you guys with this information today if you didn't yet see my video I just put out on what is the third eye and everything you need to know about it like a little mini introduction to it definitely check that out before you watch the rest of this video because that's important information to know before you move forward in awakening your third eye i'm going to give you guys four techniques that i myself have used i know that they work i have vetted them and i've seen thousands of people reap the benefits of them whether they believe in anything or not they it's, it's just a technology it's a technology of awakening the third eye so you don't need faith or belief in these techniques they will work for you i promise if you genuinely do them with an open space an open heart and a willingness to receive the energy you will receive it and it will work for you so the first one i'm going to start with is from a very famous yogic and tantric scripture called the vinyana bhairava tantra this scripture has so many references to third eye and yogic abilities or yogic powers and it is an amazing book to read i would definitely recommend you guys checking it out yourselves but i'm going to give you guys one technique from this vinyana bhairava tantra that explains a meditation or awareness technique you can use to start awakening the third eye yourself this is from sutra 50 dharana 27 from all sides, take one dvara santa in your body, such as the center between your two eyebrows. So this means direct your awareness into one point. Just dissolve your mind in the third eye with a strong, constant, restful awareness. 
That person who does this is a Dridda Buddhi, the one who is established in the firm strength of undivided awareness, just like a flame undisturbed by the air. To him, the characteristics of existential reality of the Supreme Consciousness appear and manifest firmly, which do not subside at all. So what this technology, this technique is explaining is when we sit in a state of dharana, meditation, deep meditation with no thought and bring our one-pointed awareness, literally visualizing one point like an inner gaze into our brow center, the Anya Chakra, the third eye, and keep bringing that awareness into it and sitting with it on the daily, it will awaken our third eye and give us the clarity of seeing the consciousness and the reality around us for exactly what it is, without any illusion, without any delusion, which is such a power in powerful, powerful way for all, us all to live in our reality. And that's truly all we're we're all really seeking, right, as spiritual seekers, to live in reality instead of in suffering, because suffering isn't reality, it's living in the mind. And so when we can transcend the mind and transcend suffering, we can see things for what it is, which is supreme bliss, supreme auspiciousness of all happenings. And that's what third eye awareness, third eye awakening can bring you. Another thing you can do, which is an Ayurvedic and yogic technique along with this, is visualize breathing through your third eye. So when you're doing this meditation and you're directing your one-pointed focus to the brow center, you can also visualize yourself inhaling and exhaling through the third eye itself. And like this, you'll start to feel that you can really feel the energy, the prana, flowing through that chakra even more easily when you're visualizing the breath itself coming through that center. And so this is one amazing technique you can start with to start awakening your third eye. Now, the next three techniques, in my opinion, are actually even easier because they don't require a lot of sadhana or spiritual practice by you. Um, but of course, you're allowed to choose your preference. Um, I, of course, would recommend initiation into third eye awakening by a master and my guru Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam is one of the only enlightened masters right now doing this freely for thousands of people every single week and so you can get your third eye awakened by him whether you choose him as your guru or not doesn't matter he can still awaken your third eye so you don't need any belief for choosing him or feeling like you're committing no he can still awaken it because he's an enlightened being and that's the the hugest part of third eye sciences throughout yogic tradition is initiation by a master. This prevents any negative karmic effects third eye awakening might have on us if we do it improperly, incorrectly, or when we're doing it and our body is still not in the highest state it could be, when our mind is still not in the highest state it could be. That can sometimes bring a negative effect of this awareness, of this opened, you know, intuition, opened powers that come with it. But with a guru's blessing and a guru's initiation directly, those negative side effects won't come. So the next three techniques you can do are to one, watch oneness capsules. If you search Paramashivoham oneness capsules, and I'll link them in the description, my guru has uploaded all of his initiations and mandala processes that have happened for years, literally over 10 years, in all the programs he's hosted. I'm even in some of the videos. Maybe some of you guys can spot me in them. I like love pointing myself out. I'm like, yay, that's me. So these oneness capsules, by, just by watching them, because an enlightened being doesn't operate in just a physical plane, it doesn't matter that these happened in the past. You watching them itself is an initiation and the videos will describe this to you. And you will literally feel the energy. I'm telling you, I've heard from so many people who've watched these that they had full Kundalini awakening ex experiences just by watching one of these videos. And they're totally available free on YouTube and there's hundreds of them. So whatever one you connect with the most, you can just explore. They're super powerful to just sit, gaze at the screen and just sit in a meditative space. And you'll see so much third eye awakening starts happening in you. The other option is every single night my guru gives a live satsang in English at around 5.30 to 7. Um, he starts and then he goes on for an hour or so. And after that satsang, which is like a discourse on some spiritual topic, he leads 
and a guided meditation process, which is often revolving around power manifestation, third eye awakening, or even experiencing states of samadhi, which is another topic, but some of you guys might be familiar with it. They have been such intense, such intense processes. And from somebody who has lived around him physically and attended pro uh, programs with his physical presence there when he, you know, he was there guiding the programs himself, I have not had such a powerful experience of kundalini awakening and awakening of the, all the chakras, all the energy centers, since I had been in his physical presence around a year or two, two years ago in one of these processes, since this last few weeks of his processes through live stream, I have had the exact same experiences, that powerful of energy flowing and like this electricity flowing through my body and so much bliss such a deep meditation without any effort on my part and i know i always joke but i'm not the best meditator i have a lot of high energy and so sometimes i like just get fidgety when i meditate like a lot of us might but i have just been able to whenever i just decide to sit there with it i just sit i close my eyes and literally i'm in a no thought space this is with no effort of my own part i'm in such a deep meditation which is so hard to reach by myself and just because of these processes i'm able to go into that space and through these uh, initiation processes, Swamiji is sharing that he is awakening anyone who's watching Third Eye. So you can also do it that way. Um, and these happen on nithyananda.tv. So you can tune in or on live stream on the Nithyananda YouTube channel every single night. He's always going live from his YouTube channel itself and you can watch through there as well. And the last technique I'm going to share with you guys is attending a weekend program. So. Um, as I explained in a video, uh, a few videos ago of the Atmalinga process and programs that have been happening, you can also attend free weekend programs that happen um, at our te local temples and centers around the world. And through those, you also can get initiated because Swamiji does official initiations at those programs as well. They're also completely free. So there's so many options in front of you to choose from, whether you want to go the route of getting initiated by a guru or if you want to use the meditation technique that may take you more time i will definitely give you that warning because through sadhana things take much more time and effort on our part through initiation they happen like in the snap of a finger so maybe you want to do a combination it's totally up to you but these are the best techniques i know of that will help you have direct access to your own third eye and really live life as a yogi through experiencing manifesting of powers in your day-to-day -day life and not ever feeling in confusion or delusion or violence, but in such a high space, a high frequency because you're operating from that space of the cosmic sight, right? The cosmic vision. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any further questions, um, especially about the programs or anything. If, you're, if you need further information, I'm definitely happy to answer here. I love you guys, best of luck. Stay safe, stay connected, and I will see you guys on the next video. Nithinandam, everyone.